So drawing optimization concerns the playback of your storyboard. So to play back your storyboard, you can go to the playback toolbar here at the top of the software and click on the blue play button. So that's just a short playback from the storyboard. Um, and if you're finding this a little bit slow, uh, that's because Storyboard Pro has to calculate the position of all the TVGs, which is the Toon Boom Vector Graphics, which is the file format that's used for these drawings. However, there does exist a second file format called TVGO, which is Toon Boom Vector Graphics Optimized, that has all the drawing pixel information already pre-calculated. So to access these drawings for playback, you have to go to the Storyboard Pro menu here at the top and go to Preferences if you're using Mac, or if you're using Windows, Preferences will actually be under the Edit menu. So the Preferences window opens and we want to go to the Advanced tab and specifically to the Optimize Playback section. So the first option that we need to choose is Use Optimized Drawings. So I'm going to check that. Then we have two options, and they actually work together. So the first one is asynchronous drawing loading. Um, so what that does is as Storyboard Pro is loading all the drawings, and drawings are considered all the different layers of every panel, so both of these are considered drawings, uh, these two layers of this individual panel, it checks to see if there is a panel that is more texture heavy or more complex because it has more lines, for example, it can decide to skip over the loading of those complex or texture heavy drawings and jump to ones that are faster to load and only load the ones that are texture heavy or complex once they are ready. So this is a good option to have checked. However, as you're playing back your storyboard, you might notice a blip in the playback as a result. So to combat this, what you'd have to do is also check preload drawings. So what preload drawings does is it preloads both dependent on the number of frames and the number of panels, um, and it jumps ahead to see what needs to be loaded first. So the numbers that you should enter into these fields is dependent on whether you have a storyboard that's filled with uh, many short panels or many long panels. If you have many short panels, and that means that they last for a very short duration of time. So we see one panel here, but you can decide in the timeline how many frames it will last for. So if I only want it to be visible for six frames in a project that's 24 frames per second, uh, it's not even visible for a full second. It's visible for only a fraction of a second. However, if I decide to have it visible for 48 frames, um, that's obviously two full seconds, and that makes it a very long panel. So like I said, if you have many long panels, then you want to preload a lot of panels because you want the uh, software to jump ahead from one panel to the other. However, if you have many short panels, so panels that last for a very small number of frames, you want uh, the preloading to happen for frames, so it'll jump many frames ahead and not many panels ahead. So we're going to keep all three of these check marked and all of the default values as is, and then click on OK. And now we're going to go back to File, Create Optimized Drawings. And then a warning box will come up asking you if you would like to save your project. And I'm going to say yes. Depending on how long or complex your project is, this may take more or less time. So we can see that our operation has successfully been completed. So now let's go back in the timeline to where we were before. It was about here. Um, and let's click on the play button again. And you can see that the playback was much more fast and efficient and optimized.